Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Uh, episode 13, I believe. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'll be trying to... If you're seeing this, it's already uploaded. But I'll be trying to upload as many videos as possible of this to try and keep it up to date. I'm... Um, I think I've uploaded the first one so far upon recording this one. Then I'm gonna take a, maybe like a small break tomorrow from recording this series. Just because I want to try and keep the release schedule up to date with how I'm recording them and so on and so forth. Let's go see what Iron Mike wants. Ooh, night time. No, daytime. Deke? I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. Am I gonna, are we gonna run there? Because that's quite a distance. No, not really. Our cab is going down pretty anyway quickly. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. The old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of him. Alright. This scene really is kind of Walking Dead-ish, isn't it? Like, how, how, how long must they be standing in the mud for to get stuck in it? Nice work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when Lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there, and there's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway, we gotta be quiet. That sounds not a good sign, is it? They aren't even gone yet. Oh, they weren't gone. Oh, there they are. That is quite a lot of them. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah. In July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer two, Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? I always closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. What good is that revolver gonna do you? I mean, really. That 
That's right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, we don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know, goddamn well, you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. How we got. Damn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. yep. Blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna I do? No, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and other stuff come. Yeah. All right. All right. You get my attention. Okay. Come on. Let's head back. Yeah, it's a good plan. All right. My knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying? I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay up. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They have motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks use the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all north up to Smith Rock all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves. Maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. All right, Iron Mike rides again. St. John. Iron Mike's uh, only a hundred. It was kind of weird how we just jogged up there and back. You were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike. You'll get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. Saint John out. Fuck you, Shizo. Uh, what was I doing? I kind of confuses me though how 
that cave is really close to Lost Lake. It's been two years since the outbreak, blah blah blah. Yet no one's noticed that thousands of those fuckers hide in the cave. That's literally a brisk run from where they live for two years. Like that cave couldn't have been a bit further away. What's going on, Blair? The that one looks alright. What is it? Trust level two, and I'm about nine thousand off. So probably not. Okay then. A lot of freaks. Hey, see ya. Oh, this one, 39%. That's not so bad. I don't think I'm going to need much petrol for this next one. I think they take the petrol gauge off. Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're going to have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they use to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county. Keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after... Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right here. This is it. I do like that drift feature. Mike. The place is gonna be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. Alright. That there? The old federal building. That's where we're headed. Tallest building in town. Got Let's it. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? He, where his body is? Yeah. I think I do. You heard what happened. Yeah, everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? called a truce a meeting right here oh we knew what was coming we knew what was coming and we were prepared fight didn't last long but it was bad We had ammunition left after all, and how well, they. Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days. the hell one of them wasn't me.
Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. Jeez, that's grim. Oh, uh, ooh, this is you grim. Didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here because you you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming! With the Rippers! The one that Schizo so hot for! You think he cares how many die? On either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Yes, let's. Here's the door. Ah, Shizzo. Place is locked up tight. Never has there been a bigger pain in the ass. Come on. Gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. It was always the sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. God rest her soul. You didn't like kids. Wow, well, here I thought you liked everyone. Almost no one, point of fact. But I tolerate most. Even smart ass drifters. Come on. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were well, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Why can't I get a revolver? Stay behind me. I mean, he's got a, he's got a badass revolver. Why can't I get one? you can't, but remember the last time you were out the Like I said, I'm staying behind you. Get them all in. Do some uh, looting. What is their goal here? I don't understand. Like, do they... Are they wiping out the freaks? Or just... Like, mass suicide? Because it looks like there are more freaks than there are them. Shooting up. Oh, shooting up. Oh, shit. Behind me. Yeah. 
It takes a special kind of crazy to run at someone with a gun. Jesus, what a mess! You know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed! Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me! Ride with Iron Mike. Why you wanted me to see that shit? You know, Dink, I always saw a bit of myself in you, back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. You don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Good folks of Sherman Camp did to stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. We've all done things. Alright, what's the next one? Field research team. <laughs> Alright, I'll do that. Yeah, Mike, I ain't gonna bet on that. Your truce ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. You need something? Having a look. Is that okay? You really need a lot of fuel. Where the hell is my ratchet wrench? Gas decals. Is rust really a color? Surely that just means you need to 
fix your fucking bike. Uh, yeah, your bike's looking good now. There we go, custom accents. That's one. Uh, some of these look like shit. Okay, I'll go for that one. For a bit, anyway. I mean, not all of them that looks the See nicest, I think. Uh, definitely looks alright. Anywho. Where am I going? I'll do that in the next video, because I reckon this mission might take me a bit longer than I think. Ian St. John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike. This is Deke. Heard you brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah. Uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Said about how we do things around here. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Yeah, I get a feeling that because like forced stealth missions in this always take some more time than I expect. So this might take me the rest of the video. Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed at the farm. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah, he's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. Alright, another thing for the next video. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, 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 St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Let okay, me know yeah, I get it. And this Three time, I need you to plant one of those trackers on their helo. Their chopper. I know what a helo is, O'Brien. And you better have something for me. I can't. So, I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. I'm good. See me. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Think you could stop and fill up at the old Paltrow no, gas station. Dude, in case you didn't see it, sign says gas low. Not it. Brian, the track here he is. Yeah, I'm still now completed the survey Jeez. of 24 nesting sites, including those of Marion <laughs> Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What's that called again? Our oh, crazy willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A crazy willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. 
Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. What do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals will build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Okay, you finished? I'm sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just asking. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a crime. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist. I didn't really pay attention to anything she said. I was too busy trying to keep an eye out for those soldiers. Okay, that didn't take it anywhere near as long as I thought it would. stuff quickly what I get what I get significantly reduces range weapon recoil yeah that'll come in handy very handy not really that handy I don't need to use the crossbow that's good to have that as an option I guess eee that'll come in handy again Well, I'm gonna probably wrap up this episode. Fuck me. Okay. Of all the places I could have stopped to end the video, that probably wasn't the best one. Is this Cope? You out there? Cope? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm uh, guessing you uh, got another job for me. Okay, I'll swing by. Deke and up. Deke, we need a fly. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seeds. Indeed, we need those seeds. Ah, oh, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Anyone else gonna message me now? Alright, I'll just... Mosey on in here, stop here. Right, well, I'm going to wrap up this video a bit earlier than I usually do. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, it's been not much, I haven't said too much uh, in this video. 
simply because it's been a lot of dialogue heavy, cutscene heavy kind of missions. Thank you all for watching again. Uh, please remember, like I always say, to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, like to let me know you like the video. Comment anything you want. I don't really mind. I'll, I'll do my best to get back to you. Providing you know, the comment is not taking the piss or just mean. If it is mean, I'll probably reply anyway. And subscribe to let you know for you know updates and well, to show me first of all that you're taking an interest in the content I'm making, and secondly to keep you up to date, I believe, on future releases. I'm sure that's a feature of the subscribe button. I'm not too sure. I can't quite remember. Thank you all for watching, and please have a good day.